this is a hand lantern that I'm making. Well, I've nearly finished it off. Uh, surface mount lead. I'm using the Teflon wire on these. And uh, you can get an idea of the size of it there. It's less than a, a foot wide in HO scale. This is an O scale one I've done. You can do the same in, in, uh, in HO, which I've done plenty of these. All it is is the surface mount lead facing upwards and a bit of, um, for the tank on the bottom, I've just used some heat shrink around, around the uh, solder of where the uh, wires are. The wires I've brought up. I put a little bit of uh, heat shrink tube on the top there, just for the uh, for the chimney sack. And uh, rather than using magnet wire, I'm using this uh, Teflon wire, which I uh, prefer because it's uh, insulated. Okay, well I pulled the lead out. So there's that's an 0603. It's a biggie. There's the 0603. So if you look at my tweezers, you can see how I've shaped either side to chamfer them down to make a chisel point on each uh, of the tweezer blades. That allows me to grasp the resin light package. And there it is. Now I can manipulate the lead and to do the soldering. Now, this is the Teflon wire that I use. I get this from Hobby King. That's uh, Turnergy. And there's the uh, magnet wire, which I also use. That comes from engineering. And uh, if you look at the comparison between the two of them, there's not a lot of difference. This is thicker, but it's not that much. And it's fully insulated, whereas that's just got the enamel and it's easily scratched. I'm going to work around the camera here. That's a bit better. So there we go. Next part, using the car's orange flux. That's neutral. So we put a bit of that on. I get a good tin this, this way. Clean the tip. Get a solder. Right, a tin. It's important to tin both parts whenever you're doing something. Now the next trick that I'm doing with tweezers, so that I can get where the insulation finishes, I bend the wire. You can see that. And we go up and we come out. Now I've got to trim that to the width of the lead solder pad. A bit more. Okay, next we do the lead. And they're spring loaded, so uh, keep that tip clean in the middle of a bit. I've got the camera in front of me. I'm trying to do this small work. One side tinge. Right, they're both tinned. Right. Now you put a wire on. And I want that wire to run up that way. So I've got a little tool here. So I sit that in there. There's my tweezers in there. And we'll wind this camera up. And put a bit of white at the back here somewhere. I'll show you that's a bit better. So I've got that in there. Now the resin light package is down and I want the wires to run down so that they're going to be the, the, um, the arms of the... Uh, of the lantern and I'll put one across the back and 
Não corre. Espera. Now there's one. I'll just trim this off. And we'll do the same to the other. And they're opposite. Here we go. Now we can test it to see that the lead's going to work. Trim it off a bit. Get the camera rolling so you know that I'm not cheating. And I'll put a bit of strip that. Strip the other one. The Teflon strip is pretty easy. I've just got my lead tester here and I've just made up a little set of leads that's uh, easily to go. Oh, hang on, I've got to go the other way. Alright, that one, and that one. Okay, so we've got a lead. Whoop, we've got a lead there now. So that's working. So uh, I can bend those. And they become the side of the hand lantern. Like I had on that one there. Uh, it's a warm white, we've got to tint all this yet. So around that we're going to cut a piece of heat shrink tube. About the size of the tank. Now that piece of tube will fit around that. We'll do that next. Okay, I fitted a bit of heat shrink tube over the back of it there. And you can just see that inside there is the, the glow, like on a kerosene lamp, the wick itself has got the, the highest uh, illumination point, the white, and then it radiates from there. So that's sitting right down on top of that, which is going to be the tank. So that's the bottom, and the wires will come up, and we've got to put a glass bead on here yet. But uh, to hold that in, I'll put some weld bond glue on the bottom of that, to uh, keep that in place and then we'll look at the bead. This is my box of uh, beads. Michael's stores in America sell this sort of stuff there and um, other the spotlight in Australia it's similar stores they're all uh, little crimps and um, bracelet jewel, um, jewelry. What I've got here is uh, there's some of the samples that I can use you can put surface mount leads in these, and these can be uh, hanging inside saloons or, or uh, other play hotels and things. So you can put a surface mount lead in those. But down the bottom there, these are the glass beads. So when I'm making hand lanterns up there, um, I can get glass that actually goes on top of the um, surface mount lead. This little one I've just done there now. Uh, you can put the um, the glass beads going to fit between the uh, two wires that are coming off there. Here's an example using the glass beads. There's the lead in there. So I put that in there. You can see how the light's going to look there. Of course, you can tint this with the Tamiya paints. There's a gold one. Without having to tint, you can actually put a yellow glow into it there. And these are the frosted, these are the ones I'm going to use, they're smaller. And you can see the, the frosted glass, how it's going to look. Again, easily tinted. We just glue these in with uh, some weld bond. Okay, I've got a bit of weld bond onto a pen. Much, but that'll do. Uh, I'll grab hold of what we did, 
this is um, that's dried overnight put a little bit in there spread the wires get the glue into it there working around the camera I'll see here we go and we'll put this glass lens in there now this is the frosted one Here's the frosted bead there and there's the frosted bead and we just straighten those wires up they're going to be the the frame around the lantern straight that up it's gently pressing now oh, there's that part of it there now and we're going to do that we use a bit of weld bond glue and we put that on top of the glass and tidy this up later get a nice good dollop there and then with this little piece Then I'll orientate it. Okay, I so see that that's now sitting up on top of it there. And there's the lanterns uh, working there. You turn it off, turn it on, and uh, stop his arm moving. That's it, the wire is just running up through the arms, but it makes for a lot more fun. And on 340, the um, C19, we can turn his lantern off. This is the uh, switching loco that I use for uh, my switching. So I've got the uh, fellow on the bike on the back there of the tender, and we just turn his light on when we want to go reverse because the tender doesn't have a reverse light, so we turn him on. That's just something I do. And inside, uh, you can see the fire glowing in the um, pot belly stove inside. Inside there. And then we've got the marker lamps that go on as well. So there you go. Putting some hand lanterns on um, on the figures and that. And a little bit of Tamiya uh, orange paint to just to tint them to the um, old era looking. Now they're not bright white. They've got a uh, golden glow to them. That makes a difference.